Welcome to the video tutorial, Healing Like a Pro with Mouse Over UI Macros. This tutorial will show you how to create Mouse Over UI Macros. However, before doing that I would first like to point out the issues of not using these macros. This healer has the instant spell Flare and the 2 second cast healing invocation. If you want to heal someone without using macros, you will have to click on the player and then cast a spell. If you pay close attention, you will see my target window change from a Jistar to a Lila. If I select my Jistar and hover my mouse over a Lila without clicking, the graphics suggest we will be healing this player. However, as you can see, the health is not changing. I have to click a Lila before I cast the spell. If you have no target selected and cast a spell, you will get a little hand. This hand is blocking all spell casting until you select a target. This can be very frustrating during fights. If you have the wrong target selected and forget to click, or for some reason your click is not registered, again you will not be healing the target you want to heal. We will solve all these issues by creating a macro. Press escape and then select the macro. Now scroll down to an empty spot, select it, enter a name and go into the commands section. Now tap hashtag show space and shift click on the spell. Now type cast at mouse over UI space and shift click on the spell and save it. Drag it on your action bar. Now let's do the same for our invocation. Enter a name, type hashtag show space, shift click on the invocation spell, enter, cast, Add mouse over UI, space, and shift click on the spell again, and press save. Now also drag that one onto your action bar. Now as you can see, the tooltip will show the exact same information for the original spell and for the macro we just created. This effect is caused by the hashtag show spell name and allows you to keep track of cooldowns and the original description of the spell. Now remove the original spells and replace them with the macros. These macros will fix all your issues. Even with the enemy target selected, you can heal a player by just hovering over them and pressing the appropriate button. In this example, I am pressing 2 and not clicking. As you can see, I never lose my enemy target, but I could heal Alida. As demonstrated, it does not matter which target you select. You will always heal the player your mouse is hovering over. As a final tip, I recommend renaming your macros to reflect the value they heal. In this case the flare will heal 3076, so I rename the flare to 3076 and press save. I do the same for invocation. This change offers two benefits. First of all you get a general idea which spells you have to use depending on how low the player is. Also when you get better gear, you get to upgrade these numbers, which is always fun. This concludes the Gameplay Insight video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't hesitate to request additional tutorials in the comments.